dada o igbo mi igbo mi dada o igbo mi olojojo kan kan ja o o si soro titanju o ni ja npo lojojo dele a loyi urakutu ka o ti ka ku lo si ganin ganin a npo lojojo dele kan se agbele a o lagbara iledumare mi a ba temi ku o itisha kan ni ko ni lode yoruba bo se de class ni we a dide aki e ka ro sa o ni e ka ro e je ore You give it to Dr. Kade for me. What he has done in Ekiti. Now, whether there is any government put together that can do what he has done. And I think we have got it to a level whereby we need to reclaim ourselves, reclaim our people, so that we get the people to know that at this very material time and at this critical time, Ekiti needs to develop, we need to move forward. And without Kade for me, at that whether that development will surely come. Because when we were there, we went back on rural community development that transcend every community in the Kitty State. And it is on record. Go to any mini community today. You see our hands there. You see what we have done there. You see the development in that community. Attributes for Dr. Kaldifai. In terms of rural development, we see pictures, we see flashes of what supposedly are some of the advancement of the current government in rural development. Do you acknowledge this or you have something against this? Uh, this is a fraud. Is there any development in Ekiti since the exit of Dr. Kyle Defy? Me, in all honesty, let's put it. Let's go and do the sample. Go to the public, talk to them. Let us speak to you about development. They will tell you as much as, as when Kyle Defy me stopped. That is where the government stopped in Ekiti. My community, I'm from Ekiti. I want to tell you there is no visible project by this present government. So how do you tell the people? In a community where we have five kilometer roads, we renovated our, our, our palace, we have our secondary school renovated, we have roads constructed in, 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 in our community. How do you give it to the people? So he has done it, and all of us are looking forward to his coming. And we know his coming will bring about another level of development in the community. Are you mindful of the fact that there are about 28 candidates that will be vying for the candidates. Yeah, those party mobilizers, call them party mobilizers. There is only one person going to this position, and that is the Dr. Kaode Fabi. Any other person, they are just party mobilizers. Are, are you saying that the election is already won, the party election? Can't you see the people? The people have spoken. No, no, but there will be a party election. Forget whatever it is. This is the party. The party is the, I mean, the people that are standing here. And you see what the people are saying. What do the people and talk to them? The development is there. and he has done it before. We are proud of him. We are proud to show Kate Kyle Defy. Dr. Fire may not pick up the ticket. What will happen? Pardon? Should he not be able to pick up the ticket? The ticket is already still given to him. He has already paid the ticket. Who is there contesting with him? Who is there? Tell me who is there that is contesting? I'm aware some people have picked up the party tickets too. No, not party tickets. They collected forms. Forms, I mean, yeah, forms oh, yeah, to, to, to contest. These people are just party mobilizers. They are just party mobilizers. Where were they 2013? Where were they 2014? We built this party. And where were they? So, my brother, for us to move forward in Ekiti, can't oh, find me the answer. All right, thank you very much, I'm Honorable, former commissioner, who in turn, maybe will become another commissioner. No, if, well, if, well, great. Yeah. How glory be to God. We are looking for Kadu Fahim to come back and rescue Ekiti. I'm not whether I'm interested or the basis of my support is not based on being, becoming a commissioner, but for him to rescue Ekiti from the grudges of this uh, element that is managing the state. Oh yeah, it is a sound, sights and sounds from here in Ado Ekiti, the capital city of Ekiti, state where Dr. Kade Fayami John is about to declare his intention to this crowd why he wants to become the governor again in the Kitty State. He did that for four years and lost to the current governor, Governor Yofash. I also have another commissioner who served under his party, under his regime, who has something to say about today's event. Honorable Commissioner, or Honorable Former Commissioner, tell us the name and what um, role you played in the last government, in the last time you guys were here. Uh, Dr. Pokola Wale is my name. I was Commissioner for Finance and Economic Development of Ekiti State. So you had all the money to yourself? Uh, the money was used for the development of Ekiti State. And you can see it. It's physical. We translated it. 
and everywhere you can see the work of Jacob. In every nook and corner, in every room, in every household, in every people that believe in the health system of Nigeria. They, we develop the social system, we develop the educational system, we develop the health system of Ekiti State. We develop the value system of Ekiti State. We develop the industrial system of Ekiti State. JKF did all that, even in the last administration. What? Why are you seeking a re-election for, or why are you guys seeking a re-election for Dr. John Kwame? It is not about me as a person. It is the people of Ekiti State that has called for JKF to come back and come and salvage the situation. The economy of Ekiti State has been destroyed. The social value system in Ekiti State has been destroyed. The family system has been destroyed. The educational system has been destroyed. The governor has virtually wrecked the state. And the state... It needs its salvation. Yes, we need to reclaim the lost glory. We need to reclaim the lost value of Ekiti State. And that is why please, the please, leaders please in Ekiti State, the mothers in Ekiti State, the youth in Ekiti State, the yes, old people, those who please, are benefiting, please, those who benefited from real poverty elevation, those who benefited from health system in Ekiti State, are saying it should come back. The civil servants are saying it should come back. The civil servants in Ekiti State, those who are promoted, they are saying it should come back. They are saying take care to come back. They are saying that what is the yes, yes, that's the man of the moment. Wave it! 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 It's time for retribution! It's time for progress! It's time for our lost glory to come back! Where is your It's time! to restore our values. JKF! This is serious! is here. Progress is here. The real change is here. And Omoluabi that will restore our lost glory is here. Ojulo wo Omoluabi Toshe Fokoto is here. I present to you good people of Ekiti. A man that stands for progress. A man that stands for strong values, a man that stands for the reclamation of our land. I present to you a man who has brought progress to this state before and is ready to bring it again. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Dr. John Kayode Fayemi JKF. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, God, it's all let the Oyibo. Oh, yeah, the da. Cause 